Hello everyone, welcome back to Race Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2, Patch 3, that's version 0.1.3.0, and we are going to continue our exploration of the wing fixes and make sure that the wings are in fact fixed with the space shuttle. So obviously I had problems with the space shuttle in the previous two patches. In the first version, I was able to use the space shuttle to construct the International Space Station, and then in the previous two patches, it hasn't been quite as good because the wings keep falling off or we have other issues. And in this version, we are going to see how it does. And well, here it is. I'm going with the five segment cargo bay instead of the four segment cargo bay. We do not have any payload in this case though. Uh, so there's the docking port arrangement. And now we have the Mark II docking port. Uh, so that is a nice little option for us. And so this is the traditional Das Valdez docking port arrangement. At least that's who I copied it from. I don't know if somebody else had it before that, but I copied off of uh, Das Valdez on Twitch. And that is what I'm using. So then we have the rest of the cargo bay and the mob. Everything else is basically the same as it was before. And we are using the small wings. I haven't uh, given them dihedral yet, but in the early version, in the first version of KSB2, I used the small wings because they could get the proper shape of the wing uh, the way I wanted it, the light wing here. Uh, but then because we had structural problems with those dropping off, uh, I moved to the metamorph, the medium wing. And so you can see the impact tolerance is 15 meters per second, impact tolerance is 30 meters per second. That doesn't mean a whole lot in the context of because we don't want them to impact anyway, but uh, structurally, structurally speaking, uh, the medium wing seems stronger, so we went with it. But uh, they are much heavier, and also they weren't exactly entirely reliable. So we'll see how it goes and I'll probably have to make a few changes. I have put no struts between the wing and the body. And I have put struts between the shuttle and the external tank, there are four. And then of course struts between the boosters and external tank for each. And of course the fuel line feeding into the shuttle. So, uh, well, we are gonna see how it goes. I haven't tried launching it yet. And you can see that we have Mm, a problem with our information here. All right, there's the thrust vector here. And let me just toggle everything so you know it's refreshed. Well, I mean, that can't be the actual thrust vector, right? Um, uh, yeah, because, I mean, even if you take into account the little separatrons, I don't see how that could be a thrust vector at all. Uh, these engines are not tilted that much, and the SRBs are straight back and nothing else should come close in terms of thrust. So why is it pointing like that? So I can't check whether this is properly balanced or not. The lift vector is over there somewhere, uh, but I wasn't looking for that. I already checked the lift and center of mass while constructing the shuttle itself. That should be all right, cross your fingers. Uh, but yeah, this, well, we're just gonna take it out to the launch pad and see how it does. You notice the plethora of launch clamps to make sure that this doesn't fall apart immediately. It still sort of wobbles there, but it's okay. And yeah, uh, we're oriented so that we would just go straight out, I think. Yeah, so uh, we are, we don't need to do a roll program, thankfully. Though for realism's sake, maybe I ought to make it do a roll program. But for now, we'll go like this. We, ha we are not carrying any payload right now. So, SAS is on and throttle is up and ignition and launch. Ooh! Oh! Well, hmm. We may need to rebalance the thrust after all. Um, well, that's troublesome. Now, I did thrust limit these a little bit. Um. 83%. I'll just bump that up to 100% on the Clydesdales. I'll put some payload in right now. This is a freshly constructed shuttle. It is not copied from a previous save file. Okay, and we'll only partially fill this tank. So this was the tank I was talking about as far as what we were aiming to carry. But we'll limit it. Well, 
Yeah, we're limited to that. And that's about the shuttle's real life capacity. But okay, I'm going to ignite the boosters and then release. So we'll do it like this and see if that helps. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I can handle it now. All right. Not as bad. It looks like we need full thrust from the boosters, but okay. Still that thrust line in the VAB made no sense. Just wait until I get joystick support out of this game. Just you wait. <laughs> Okay, we are past the speed of sound. It's actually pretty smooth, all things considered. Wings have not dropped off. Very important. And again, these are the lightest wings. The inner piece in particular was hard to shape correctly with the middle wing piece. Though we'll get less... Okay, making sure the booster is clear. Though we'll get less lift out of these too. So we'll have to see how it flies. I haven't done a flight test either. We could have strapped jet engines on and done a flight test, but I didn't do that yet. Well, a bit of a balance problem. Uh, with the thrust vector, the way it was, it was having trouble in general. And um, I wasn't sure about the tilt of these engines either. Of course, there's also the matter of the fuel depletes in here and the center of mass changes and we don't know exactly where we're going to be at on that when the boosters separate. I'm not going to mind a little bit of inclination here. I suppose I could technically use trim to help control it. Uh, not a great idea, but... Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. There are Kerbals on... well, there's Jeb. <laughs> it's just that we have that uh, Mark II crew cabin in the bay, and so we have eight seats. And the Mark II crew cabin shows up up there first, and the Mark III cockpit shows up second. Okay... Alright, that's good enough. Now, I've clipped, as usual, if you want to know how to build this, you can watch the previous videos and previous versions. But as usual, yeah, I can't check the fuel like that. Um, I've clipped in mod propellant tanks in the top here to help with the balance, and that brings up the center of mass, especially now. So there's two big mod propellant tanks clipped into the nose cone, and that is essential for keeping the balance. The bottom two tanks here started out empty, so we didn't have those filled. Only this tank was filled. And I just wanted to see how much of the tank's fuel we actually used. Okay, we still have a fair amount left actually. About 8% left. So, that's good. And... That, uh oh, uh, oh no, I underfueled that tank. Yeah, that's how much I underfuel it, so that's okay. It has a 4 ton structural mass, plus that's 22-ish uh, tons, so that's 26 tons, which is what the shuttle was rated to carry. Alright, so that is all good. I just want to get rid of the external tank safely. We don't have Separatrons in the external tank, because the real one didn't, and then... Uh, when I put Separatrons on the external tank, uh, in KSP-1, people said it was unrealistic, so we'll just try and use RCS to separate off, just like the shuttle did. Alright, I should have action grouped the main engines, I didn't. We need to be able to turn those off easily. I hope they're off. Well, we're about to find out. Yes, they are off. Okay, we'll just coast to Apoapsis, but I don't want to time warp in the vicinity of the external tank. I don't know if they fixed that. I doubt it. 
We'll just uh, wait a little bit and time warp when it's a safe distance away. And to be clear, I doubt it because just perusing the patch notes, I didn't see anything about that, though the language that I was looking for might have been different from the language that they used, so there is a minor issue there. I didn't actually tell the control surfaces what to do, so I didn't explicitly tell them your pitch, your yaw, your roll. We'll see how they do. So the ones on the inner part are shaped not ideally. Maybe I should just get rid of those. But I always like having the extra pitch authority. That's a lot of gimbal on those OMS engines. The little puffs. We do have the reaction wheel in the cockpit, but we don't have any other reaction wheel on here. Alright, that's good enough for me. We might as well release the payload now. Make sure that that's okay. And of course, drift away carefully. We will not time warp in its vicinity either. Okay, out that goes. And we'll boost up to a nicer orbit. We need to waste some fuel. Ideally, we shouldn't be coming back down. When we hit the atmosphere, we shouldn't have more than three tons, ideally. It might be a little bit nose heavy like that. We could probably carry more down, but just for this test, I would rather not. Um, in terms of payload, it's a little bit better because the payload is a little bit further in front than the mod propellant tanks. So we could carry more payload down than we can carry fuel down, just because of the location of where the fuel would end up. Wow, even now, uh, you can see the payload's orbit has become distorted. That, that was the payload. Okay, well that's probably close enough to the Space Center's location. Gotta circularize first and then get into a standard descent. Or what used to be a stand standard descent. And see how it does. At least this isn't an inclined orbit like we had with the International Space Station construction. Okay, that's roughly 100 by 100. And our descent location... Well, it's just ahead of periapsis there. Okay. We are definitely on descent. The fuel level should be fine. I will move it forward. We have two forward tanks next to the docking port arrangement. And we also have the forward tank here, which is that one. No, really in. Really in. Okay. So that will be optimally balanced, I suppose. We are entering the atmosphere here. Yeah, we're a little bit south. Hopefully I can just parlay that into a nice turn into the runway. We'll see. It feels a little bit tail... It feels a lot tail heavy right now. Uh... Oh no! The center of lift was not where I thought it was. Or where it indicated. Because actually in the VAB our center of mass was well ahead of our center of lift. Okay... Well... Um, let's burn off some fuel. Net net, I think that should end up moving the center of mass forward. Uh, come on. We're gonna have no speed at all. Oh, there's the prograde vector. Oh, come on. Come on. Get down there. Please. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, don't go too far. Don't go too far. Oh gosh. You went too far. <laughs> oh no.
The wings are doing great as far as not falling off though. No struts even. Wow, we're going really slowly though. Let me just take SAS off. I am trying to push the nose down to get speed here. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, no. I think, broadly speaking, the control surfaces were doing what I wanted them to, but because of all the rolliness, we couldn't really be sure. I feel like... Yeah, you... Oh. Oh. We've turned into a submarine. I, uh, so I guess impacting the water, at least this time, does not seem to have uh, instantly wrecked us. However, we we uh, we're sinking. <laughs> uh, uh, it's above the sea level floor, I mean above the sea floor, and it's going down. So, and I can't stop spinning either. Well, some adjustments need to be made and I will d endeavor to make them, but the important thing is the wings survived and this pleases me. So uh, we'll just have to uh, tweak it a little bit. I mean, and maybe it'll be functional. Other space planes will come in due time, but as this sinks, I guess it'll sell on the surface. I guess I'll wait. Let's see what it does on the sea floor exactly. I should have dumped the fuel. We uh, In the OMS engine pods, we still have the methane and oxidizer we don't need. Should have dumped that. Okay, out of time warp and can't really see it very well anymore. Well, I think it impacted roughly, but it's really difficult to tell. The cockpit is spinning even faster now. Jeb is still technically still alive. I, I think this is not going to stop. <laughs> okay, alright, so I'll wrap it up here and we'll see, see what we can do with the shuttle. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.